So here we have some graphs and we want to see whether each of these graphs represents a function. So a set of ordered pairs or a graph is a function if there are no repeated x coordinates with the same y coordinates. And the graphical version of that is called the vertical line test, which asks, can I draw a vertical line anywhere on this graph that goes through more than one point on the graph? So if I look at this first example, any vertical line I draw will go through it sometimes one time, sometimes no times, but no vertical line crosses the graph more than one time. So this graph represents a function. If I look at the next graph here on the top right, however, and I draw this vertical line here, it goes through two points on the graph, negative three, negative three, and negative three, negative five. So these are two points on the graph with the same X coordinate and different Y coordinates. The vertical line goes through two points on the graph. And what that means is that this graph does not represent a function. Um, so that's the idea behind the vertical line test. You wanna know, does a vertical line cross the graph more than one time. If it does, then it's not a function. If no vertical line will do that, it's a function. So just continuing on with our other examples, this graph has no points. So clearly any vertical line we draw will never cross the graph at all, but certainly not more than once. So this is a function. It is a function that has no relationships given. It has no points, but it is in fact a function. So our next three examples are graphs that are more than just isolated points, but the same idea works. If every vertical line that you can draw crosses the graph at one point or fewer, then your graph does represent a function. But if there are vertical lines, or at least one vertical line, that will cross the graph more than one time, here this vertical line crosses one, two, three times, then this graph does not represent a function. And you'll notice that there are vertical lines that would only cross this graph one time, but you really only need the single vertical line to cross the graph more than one time. Here, this red line crosses the graph three times to be able to say that the graph does not represent a function. So this final example of a straight line, which is not vertical, we can see we can draw vertical lines and each vertical line that we can possibly draw on this graph will only cross the graph one time. So this graph does in fact represent a function. So there are some examples of using the vertical line test, and I hope this helps.